the living room. I love this room. Open concept. What do you mean open concept? It's a room. It has walls. Yes, but the airflow. I need that in my life. So I can spread my wings during molting season. Okay, what else have we got going on here? Let's go look at the bathroom. It's amazing. A real selling feature. Kind of a small bathtub. I'm not sure my girlfriend Sheila could even fit in there. Well, I'm a bird. A bird man, really. So I just need to dip in and shake off. Maybe Sheila will try that. You want my girlfriend, the love of my life, to dip in the tub and shake off? She's not a bird. She's a beautiful princess. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. This wall. Here. What a great wall. I knew you'd like this wall. That's why we're best friends. Just imagine. If you buy my house and this wall, it's all yours, Twinkie boy. I like the sound of that. Let's go into the spare room. Now this is where I'll live. You want me to buy your house and then live here with me in the house? Yes. We'll be roommates. Best friends and roommates. Of course, you'll have to keep an eye on that Sheila of yours. I'm irresistible to women and birds. It's so nice being a bird man because I can date humans and birds. I'll take it, roomie. I'm sure this will be a great place to spend your wife's birthday. Birthday? Oh no. I forgot about my wife, Sheila's birthday. I didn't get her present. Well, Sheila, here it is, our new home. It's okay, I guess. Considering you bought your best friend's house. Ew! He's looking at me! Oh, Sheila, looks can be deceiving. Birdman is a lifelong pal. A good old buddy, really. A friend till the end. I guess this chair looks pretty comfy. I could use a good sit down after watching the movers haul all my heavy luggage around. I deserve it. It's a special occasion, of course. Special occasion? Yeah, silly. Don't you know what today is? Um, I have to go right now. Okay.
cheese. What am I going to do? A cake, maybe? Okay, Birdman has a handwritten recipe here for a boxed cake. Number one, the boxed cake powder. Okay, I have that in this bowl here. Number two, oil. Yes. I've conveniently put the oil in its own dish. Number three, eggs. Brilliant. Number four, mix all the ingredients together. Okay then. Number five, bake in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Don't forget to preheat your oven. No! Mm. Aw, what's this? Oh, uh, nothing. Come on, show me. I know you're up to something. What is this? I don't know. <clears throat> Show me! I just found it on the floor. Show me. Okay. Ta-da! Okay. Are you making a cake? Cake is my favorite food. Oh, I was going to surprise you with a birthday cake, but I guess you found out my plan. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Twinkie boy, it's not even my birthday. I'm a Taurus, remember? Early May. It's Birdman's birthday, though. Really? Oh, no. How could I forget my own best friend, lifelong pal, friend till the end's birthday? I don't even have a present for him. Why don't you just give him that cake? I can watch you finish it off and be there for moral support. Sheila, what would I do without you? I love you so much. Hey, Betty, what are you doing today? Um, just hanging out. What about you? Oh, I was just thinking about food. You know me. I'm always so hungry. You can even hear my tummy rumbling. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can hear it from here. So loud. I guess I need to eat some yummy food. Good question, Betty. I'll tell you. Our bodies need food for energy. When we eat, our bodies break down the food into tiny pieces. 
Then our digestive system helps to absorb all the nutrients that we need from the food. That sounds like a lot of work. It is, but it's worth it because we need the food for our bodies to function properly. Oh, I never knew that. Yep, now you know. So, you chew the food, chew and chew and chew, and then where does it go? After we chew the food, it goes down our throats and into our stomachs. Mmm. What happens in our stomach? Well, our stomachs are like big muscles that help to break down the food even more. There's also acid in our stomachs that help kill bacteria and other germs that might be in the food. Wow, that's where the barf is made. Yep, that's right. Um, so... What happens after our stomach? After our stomachs, the food goes into our intestines. What? Our intestines? Intestines are like long, coiled tubes that the food travels through. There are different parts of the intestines, like the small intestine and the large intestine. What happens in the intestines? In the intestines, more nutrients and water are absorbed from the food. And finally, the food becomes... Hmm, becomes what? Well, that's where things get a little bit, um, disgusting. <laughs> that's disgusting! Yeah, but don't worry, it's all natural. Okay, so what types of food should we be digesting? Mm, candy? No, candy is bad for our bodies. We should be eating lots of fruits and vegetables. They're full of vitamins. We need to stay healthy. Okay, well, I heard about this thing called protein. What's that? Protein is important too. It helps our bodies grow and repair themselves. So, we need to eat candy, vegetables, and protein? No, no, no! Too much of anything is bad for you. You need to have a balance of all different types of food to stay healthy. So that's why it's so important to eat from all the food groups. Exactly! We need to eat lots of different kinds of foods so that our bodies can get all the nutrients that it needs. Hey, but what about people who don't eat meat? Are they getting all the nutrients they need? Good question, Betty. People who don't eat meat are called vegetarians. They still eat lots of different kinds of foods, but they don't eat meat. And what about the people who don't eat any food that comes from animals? Those people are called vegans. They don't eat any meat or any food that comes from animals, like milk or eggs. Wow, that's a lot of different ways to eat. I'm glad we have all these options so that everyone can get the nutrients they need. Me too, Betty. Now, let's go get something to eat. I'm starving. Okay, sweet. Look, I have this absolutely delicious potato we can munch on. It's beautiful. Um, Betty, I don't think that's a potato. What? It's a tomato. Ew, whatever. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Happy birthday, Birdman. We brought you breakfast in bed. Wake up! What? Yep, we brought you a cake. Just what you've always wanted for your birthday. Okay, well, give it here then. We brought you presents too. Ooh, a present. It better be good or I won't talk to you for the rest of the week. Well, I don't deserve the silent treatment. If you don't like it, just stop talking to Sheila, not me. 
After all, we're best friends. Fine! Ooh, a bag of sticks! Yes, to help build your nest you've been working on! I do like it. I'll keep talking to you for now, I suppose. <laughs> During the Mesozoic, which was about 252 million years ago to 66 million years ago, dinosaurs were some of the largest animals to walk the earth alongside giant flying reptiles and swimming reptiles. But what did they eat? Well, Triceratops was a herbivore. It ate lots of plants like ferns and other foliage. Foliage! Its sharp beak made cutting through those tough leaves a breeze. Some long-necked dinosaurs, like Brachiosaurus, scraped leaves from trees with their teeth and swallowed their food whole. Mm. These dinosaurs actually would swallow stones so that the stones would chew their food for them in their stomachs. Scientists have yet to find out if stone-swallowing dinosaurs ever barfed up a boulder or something. Ah, the majestic Pteranodon. Its wingspan is about up to 20 feet wide and its diet consists of, wait for it, fish. That's right, this flying reptile snatched up fish from the sea with its sharp beak. A Mosasaurus is a large marine reptile with an appetite for all things aquatic. They love to feast on fish, squid, ichthyosaurus, and sharks. That's good, Don Obsidian. Look at this weird dinosaur. It's a plant-eating Stegosaurus. Look at its armored plates and its tail spikes. Wow! And then there's Tyrannosaurus rex. This fierce carnivore had an appetite for meat. It loved nothing more than sinking its teeth into large prey. It's so scary, you know. T-Rex had small arms, but they were definitely capable of winning an arm wrestle with any puny human. Did you know you are looking at the skeletal replica of one of the largest Tyrannosaurus ever found? It was found in Saskatchewan, Canada, and it measured 12 meters in length and four meters tall. This animal is an absolute nightmare beast. It's safe to say that our beloved dinosaurs enjoyed quite the variety in their diets, from juicy meats to crunchy plants and everything in between. They truly were living the good life, the good life. Gather round, boys. Time for our celebratory brunch. Brunch? What's brunch? It's the meal between breakfast and lunch, so you can eat anything you want and as much of it as you like. That sounds fun. I'll take a plate of onions, please. Birdman, I didn't make any onions for brunch today. No onions? Okay. Then I'll have some mashed potatoes. I didn't make that either. This is awkward. Okay, I'll take some popcorn and salt. Birdman, Sheila spent the entire morning preparing us a nutritious brunch. Can you just be polite and see what she has made and then eat it? Well, it's just that... Okay, let's get eating. Here is some delicious stuffing. Brown food? Disgusting! And I made some green jello. Green? Preposterous! I couldn't possibly. <sighs> Twinkie boy! Birdman isn't being very gracious. Talk to him! Listen, Birdman. When someone works hard to make you a meal, like dear Sheila here. It's nice to be kind and try the food, not just act all disgusted by it. But I only eat white food, onions and popcorn and salt. Have you ever tried salt? Mmm, wow, what a burst of flavor that is. Everyone has tried salt, Birdman. 
And besides, you can't just eat white things. That doesn't sound very nutritious. Nutritious? What does that mean? I eat plenty of variety potato chips and fries and rice and chips and sugary yak milk. Birdman, do you mean to tell me you've never tried a carrot? Carrot? Isn't that orange? What do I look like? A rabbit? Of course I've never tried a carrot. How about spinach salad or, 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 or gravy? Gravy? Do you know what that reminds me of? Have you ever had diarrhea? Twinkie boy! Birdman said diarrhea at the dinner table. He's a terrible brunch guest. Excuse me! Excuse me! It's my birthday. Tell you what, Birdman. You try a few of these delicious foods that Sheila has been so considerate to make for us today. And then we can eat that delicious white cake with white frosting for dessert. Hmm. Now that sounds enticing. Okay, give me a jiggly little piece of jello. That's better, Birdman. Here you go. Kind of cold and wiggly. Hmm. Mm. I never had that before. Such a new experience. Now try a carrot, Birdman. Crunch it with your beak. Oh, I'm so loud and obnoxious with this. I love it. Finally, I'm louder than Sheila. You know, you talk entirely too much, Sheila. You should let me talk. Twinkie boy, Birdman is saying I talk too much. Oh, don't worry, Sheila. He's just my best friend. Let's enjoy this delicious cake now. Happy birthday, Birdman. Thank you. Yeah.